This part of the citrus nursery management training package will deal with citrus pests and diseases. Pest oil is a useful tool to manage many citrus pests in the nursery, including leaf miner, scale, mealybugs and mites. Nematodes, which are tiny soil-borne animals, can be managed in a nursery by using clean growing media, that is growing media that has been treated and does not contain nematodes. Weeds are another pest in a nursery that can be removed by hand or can be killed by liquid or granular herbicides. Citrus diseases. There are many diseases that you could see in a citrus nursery. These include citrus canker, a bacterial disease that forms spots on the leaves and on the fruit. There's Phytophthora root and collar rot where the root system and the base of a tree can start to rot, rot away. Phytophthora root and collar rots are managed in Australia by growing trees on resistant or tolerant rootstocks, growing healthy nursery trees that can fight disease, ensuring that the growing media has good drainage and managing water sources because the phytophthora can be spores that cause disease are carried in water. So we treat our water via sand or chlorine treatment. Another group of diseases are graft transmissible diseases that can lead to tree decline, yield reduction, poor fruit quality, and tree death. The problem with graft transmissible diseases is that there is no cure. They can be transmitted via infected budwood or seed, mechanical transmission via equipment like secateurs or pruning saws, or graft transmissible via buds. This can be easily done because different diseases can show signs in different citrus species, but they may be symptomless in one citrus species, have caused disease in another, but they can be carried in both citrus types. So the, the seemingly healthy tree may be infected and can infect another tree that will, that will show disease when infected. Examples of graft transmissible diseases are one long bing, which is not found in Australia, but is found in Pakistan and leads to severe tree decline and eventual death and affects fruit quality and yield. The citrus exocortis viroid, citrus cachexia viroid that cause tree stunting Citrus tatterleaf virus, again causes tree stunting. Citrus cirrhosis virus, which can affect yield. And citrus tristaza virus, or CTV, for which there are hundreds of strains that cause many different diseases in different citrus types. One example is quick decline that leads to death of sweet orange and mandarin on sour orange rootstocks. Diseases are managed in Australia by quarantine, we try to keep the diseases out. Use of high health status propagation material. That is, we have a repository program with mother trees that are tested and found to be free of these diseases. These trees supply seed and budwood to the Oz Citrus Propagation Scheme, which then provides healthy um, seed and budwood to nurseries so that they can provide healthy nursery plants to citrus growers to plant in the orchard. Other diseases are also managed using biological, chemical and cultural controls. And for diseases that are spread by a vector, for example, an insect vector, managing the insect vector will help to manage the disease.